So today we're talking about Thundercat's bass solo from Kendrick Lamar's Eye. It was requested by a few people that uh, I post the music and tabs for uh, how I transcribed this uh, solo uh, for four string. Um, so that's available on my website, which is williamkerriganbass.com. Uh, if you are at my website watching this video, um, that should be available for download uh, immediately beneath this. Um, so it should be noted that uh, Thundercat plays a six string bass, so uh, some of his ideas uh, lay out very logically on a six string bass and are a little bit more of a stretch on the four string. Uh, so as with anything, uh, start practicing this slow, uh, work with a metronome and work your way up. Um, I'll only point out a few things because obviously everyone's going to take different ideas out of a particular solo, but uh, some things I want to highlight. Uh, first of all, for those that don't know, in bar 10, uh, over the tab, it says harm, and over the actual musical notation, there's a hollow circle. Um, that just signifies a harmonic. So if you don't know how to get a harmonic, um, I'll tell you now, you're going to bar, in this case, uh, right on top of the fifth fret. So not behind the fret, which is where you push down, but literally right on top of the fret, and you're not going to push down. You're just going to set your finger on the string. Okay, and then you're going to attack the string very aggressively uh, with your plucking hand, okay? That makes a harmonic. There's, okay, and they, it rings it out. Uh, there's a few of them located on the neck. I can get into that some other time, but just know that that's what that means. So fifth fret, bar over the fret, don't push down, and then attack aggressively with the other hand. The other thing that I want to point out, uh, which is something that I really admire uh, in this solo, uh, his use of tenths. So in a major or minor scale, any, uh, most of the scales in uh, Western music, at least that we'll be dealing with, um, have seven notes. Um, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you have the eighth note, which is your octave. Um, and then beyond that, you keep counting up. So the, the tenth is the same as a third. Okay, so it's the third scale degree an octave up. Um, it's a really nice trick uh, for bass players, um, and he uses it a lot. So for instance, at the very beginning, uh, the second phrase... Uh, the first phrase. He's got a minor tenth right there. Uh, okay, that's an eleventh and a tenth, an eleventh and a major tenth. Okay, and I mean he does it all throughout. It's a really nice trick to know um, if what I'm saying to you right now is your first, um, the first time you've heard of tenths. They are everywhere in the vocabulary of the best bass players throughout history. Um, so do check them out. Uh, for a four string bass, you're mainly going to use them when your root note is on the E string. And uh, I'll just let you know that uh, a major sounding, or well, not major sounding, a major third, um, which has a happier sound, um, is going to be on the G string. If, you're starting, if your root is on the E string, it's going to be on the G string, or three strings up, and one fret towards uh, your plucking hand. Okay? If you want a sadder sound, or minor third, uh, depending on how you're going about it, it's the same fret, but again, three strings up. So if you have more, if you have five or six strings or whatnot, uh, the three strings up rule is in effect. Um, but for those of us that play four strings, uh, you're you're primarily going to use these uh, when your root is on the E string. So um, I do hope that some of this is helpful. Check out the transcription. Uh, you know, practice it, glean from it what you will. Um, but yeah, happy practicing. Hey.